In this module, we are going to learn about the nervous tissue. Nervous tissue is the main part of the nervous system. Nervous tissue is mainly found in the brain, spinal cord and the nerve. The nervous system integrates coordinating and controlling body's activities. The nervous system is mainly composed of two types of cell. The main specialized cell is called neuron. Another type of cell is neuralgia that provides support to the neurons and helps and provide food for the neurons. To the neurons. Neurons is defined as the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. Neurons generate and conduct impulses and impulses sent to the central nervous system. As we know, the entire nervous system is mainly composed of a specialized cell called neurons and the supporting nervous tissue called neuralgia. Coming to the structure of neurons. Like other cells, neurons also has a cell body called a cyton and also has branches or processes called axon. Coming to the cell body. So cell body of the neurons contain a nucleus in the center and the cell organelles in the cytoplasm. This organelles is called measles granules. Cyton has the branch like projection called dendrites. Coming to the axon. So it is a long fibers of the neuron. It is engulfed by fatty myelin sheath. Here is a thin layer called neurilemma. It is surrounding by myelin. Between neurilemma and myelin, there is a swan cells. The myelin sheath is in the form of short segments that are separated as short intervals called nodes of Ranvier. Myelin is act as an electric insulator, so it increases the velocity of conduction. And the Sohan cells helps in the production of myelin. The cell body which is present in the central nervous system are called nucleus and those present in the peripheral nervous system are called ganglions. Coming to the dendrites. The cell body contain projection like structure called dendrites. It contain measles structure and nerve fibers coming to axons. It is a cylindrical structure. It merges from the cell body called axon hill. The plasmolemma of the axon is known as axolemma and its cytoplasm is known as exoplasm. This contain nerve fibers. Action forms collateral branches. Exons form a small filament structure called telodendria. It is an synaptic nerve. Exon carries nerve impulses from the cell body and send to the other neurons. The action bundles in the CNS are known as tracks, while presence in the peripheral nervous system known as nerve. The synapse, it is the certain gap between the axon terminal of the previous neuron and the dendrites of the next neuron, is known as, as the synapse. Coming to the classification of neurons, depending upon the number of poles, it is three types. First one is unipolar nerve cells. In this type, the cell body has only one pole from which both axon and dendrites arises. These are known as pseudo unipolar neuron. A two bipolar neurons. It has two poles. Axons arise from one pole and dendrite arises from one other pole. They are present in eye retina in our ear called olfactory sensory epithelium. Number three is multipolar neurons. It have many poles. One of poles give rise to the axon and all other poles give rise to the dendrites. Most neurons in our body are multipolar neurons. Based on functions, neurons are of three types. First one is sensory neuron. Sensory neurons send the impulses from the sensory organ to the CNS. 
Second type is motor neurons that transmit signals from CNS to the effector organs like muscles, glands, etc. Third type of neuron is the interneurons that are present in the central nervous system. It mainly connects the, the axons. Nerve. The axons, the axons in the, the PNS form, form nerves. nerves. Every, Every nerve is covered, is covered by a thin, thin layer of connective, of connective tissue, tissue known as endonerium. endonerium. Many a collection axons of axons is called fascicle. fascicle. It is covered by perineum. All the fascicles in the nerve form a bundle and are covered by the All connective the tissue form covering a called epineurium. epineurium. This and forms that a is nerve. From a nerve. In this session, we learn about the nervous tissue and the structure of the neurons. In the next session, we will learn about the functions of nervous tissue and the properties of the neurons.